A family out thousands of dollars after trusting a Farmington Valley developer to build them a home. And tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Sam Smink has an update on the case. She joins us now. Sam. Stephanie, that Farmington Valley developer was a subject of multiple I-team investigations. And this is how the legislature now plans to get involved. It is very stressful. It has taken a toll on my health as well. Um, and even my, my baby. Several months pregnant, Thashara Nair was hoping her family would be living in their new home in Avon by now. A home they put $94,000 worth of deposits into. A home that William Ferrigno said he'd built three years ago. We had to actually sell our existing, you know, place, condo, and move to this, um, you know, a temporary accommodation just to, in an anticipation that our closing would be nearby. And this happened three times. Nayer said she and her husband found the Farmington Valley developer and his company, Sunlight Construction, through Google. After learning he had a good reputation, they signed a contract with him in December 2020 to build a home on this land in Avon they also paid for. In the past three years, they have had three closing dates. And today, just the shell of a home to show for it. We don't know uh, any D on when we're going to have either the house or the money. You know, so it's 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 very stressful. Nayer and her husband are suing for Rigno. So are 14 other families for homes they say aren't finished or were never even built. Our investigation into Ferrigno started last year in Simsbury at the Cambridge Crossing development. There, not only are many homes still unfinished, current residents say their sewer and drainage systems are incomplete and sidewalks, roadways and lighting remain undone. Because Cambridge Crossing is a private community, the town of Simsbury says Ferrigno is in charge. It's both sad and outrageous to hear that this has gone on as long as it has. State Representative Eleni Cavros de Graal is chair of the state's planning and development committee. She says she's working on legislation that would allow towns and cities to get tougher with new construction development, allowing them to create more specific rules regarding benchmarks and deadlines, though the details are still being ironed out. That's what I think we need to work on first. Again, not penalizing good actors, but ensuring that the public is protected in a better way from bad actors. At Cambridge Crossing, the town of Simsbury is using a $30,000 bond for Rigno put down to help fix up the development. Developers are typically required to put down performance bonds, a financial guarantee that the developer will meet obligations. We asked the representative if towns and cities should require developers to put down higher performance bonds in case. We are certainly open to all options. Another option? Homeowners we spoke with hope the legislature considers new rules around builders taking deposits from home buyers without putting them in escrow, a type of holding account. There is no current law. In many lawsuits, clients said Ferrigno would not move forward if the homeowners put their deposits in escrow. I do think that's a worthwhile conversation to have, and it may be a conversation to have in conjunction with the housing committee. As for Nayer, she and her lawyer are currently working with the town of Avon to construct a sewer line for Ferrigno failed to get permission for, with the hope they can come to an agreement to close on the property and finish the home they've dreamed of for years. I truly hope that at least we get a house back. That would be the ideally perfect uh, happy ending. Ferrigno is currently facing four criminal charges related to his failure to construct homes and return deposits. He is expected in court to face a judge in February. We reached out to Ferrigno. He has not returned our calls. In court filings, his lawyer has denied many of the claims. Sam Smink, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.